What's up you guys welcome back to the channel as you guys just saw i've been working on the civic all morning and we have accomplished a lot we got the head the turbo we got the turbo feed and the return hooked up we got the timing i set the timing and everything um alternator is on and it's looking very nice the back firewall is looking very clean i did move a lot of the stuff that was back there um right now i'm gonna set the valve cover on and there's still a lot of things that we got to do but we are getting closer and closer i'm not gonna use any rtv for my valve cover or anything i'm just gonna go ahead i already wiped the inside the other side the gasket and we're just gonna go ahead and set it on here and if it leaks then we'll go ahead and use some RTV but I doubt it that it's gonna leak
there it is. All right, so I went ahead and I swapped out that wire for the ground. And this one swirls around and it goes to this side right here by the frame. I think it might be a lot better than just going directly across to this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install a radiator. I went ahead and I put the two bushings that go in there. And we have two radiators. We got the one from this car, from the four door, which is this one. And then we got this one, which is the one that I purchased about a year ago, something like that, a year and a half, maybe a year ago. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one. They both work and everything. And I believe the plugs are the same. Yeah, the plugs are the same. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this one on right now. I still gotta do the wire harness so then I could set it up exactly how I want it. You know what? This thing's pretty filthy. I'm gonna pull it back out and wipe it down really good. All right, I got it nice and clean. Let's go ahead and drop this guy in here. Reservoir is in. It's looking very nice. I do have a problem with the bolt that goes here, with the little piece that goes from here to here. Uh, the bolt actually broke in there when I was removing the radiator the first time. But it looks like it's in there pretty good right now. I might end up putting something maybe over here on this side because this side is nice and tucked it's not gonna come up well it doesn't feel like it's gonna come up or anything but just to be safe I might rig some kind of a bracket or even just use the same bracket and redrill a hole right here today is day number two um, the battery crapped out on my GoPro 7 and now I'm using a wire to run straight power. I'm using the charging wire to run straight power to this GoPro. So today is Sunday. I will place an order today for some batteries for the GoPro and hopefully by my next video, Tuesday or Thursday, I will already have those batteries because without those batteries, I cannot move around the garage. I gotta leave you guys in one single spot. I'm gonna do my best to transfer. I got a bunch of extension cords I'm gonna do my best to transfer this camera around the room in this garage so you guys can see what I'm about to do. You know what, since I'm very limited on the areas where I could put you guys, let's just go ahead and install the intercooler. I'm sorry about the background noise, the neighbors cutting the grass, but let me go ahead and move you guys over and we'll get started on the intercooler. So we are going to run the intercooler the same way that I ran it on Nesquik. It's just going to go through these holes. It's going to drop through. It's going to drop through and then these washers are going to tighten everything up. And then from there, we will see if we need a bracket at the bottom and how we are going to assemble that. So we are unfortunately going to have to drill out a hole because it will line up to this hole right here but it will not line up to this hole. It's just a little bit short of this one. So I have the choice of putting the intercooler a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right. So I'm gonna go a little bit more to the right. I'm gonna save this hole and I'm just gonna 
drill a new hole right here. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up kind of where I want it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is kind of what we're looking at right now. I wish I could back up the camera more, but my extension cords don't reach any further back. But I am gonna have to drill a little hole right here. It's a shame, cause I just painted this too, but I'm gonna have to. So I got the screws through. I went ahead and I put a little bit of paint under there. It dried up already. And what I am gonna do now is just tie these straight up. And that's gonna hold the top half from it jumping up and down. and going just like that when I'm on the boat. So I made a template out of cardboard of what I need and basically this is going to go like this it's going to go like that and it's going to go right here from the other side of this there's a threaded hole underneath and then there's a threaded hole on the radiator support so that's how it's going to go just like that I still got to make the other one but this is a template and I am going to go ahead and cut it out of metal so check out the bracket. This is what I have created. And it's just gonna sit right under here like this. So now I gotta make one for the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some paint on this so I could prevent any rusting in the future. And then I'm gonna fabricate the other one. So these are the brackets that I ended up making. I'm gonna go ahead and put one on each side and hopefully this will be nice and solid. So this is gonna be the end of the video. We do have our bracket mounted. Let me see if I can show you guys. Under here. It's kind of hard to see the bracket. But the bracket's on there. And on the other side, try not to kill the battery on the GoPro, but you can see the bracket right there, you can see the bracket over here that I fabricated on both sides. So now this guy is on there really good. We are getting pretty close. I got to start working on the wire harness pretty soon and on the wire harness let me know if you guys want to see um, conversion from um, OBD2B to OBD2A with the wire harness or um, the D16Y7 wired harness converted over to the Y8. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of that. But this is going to be it. I will catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.